This is Nationals Park, the home of the Washington Nationals. What's going on, Concession Critics? I am Harrison Taylor, and welcome back to another episode of Concession Critics Ballpark Bites. Today we're here at Nationals Park in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., with a capacity of 41,373 fans. The ballpark opened on March 30th, 2008, with the Nationals beating the Braves 3-2. The venue was built to become the newly relocated Montreal Expo's permanent home. The team played their first three seasons as the Nationals at RFK Stadium starting in 2005 while Nationals Park was being constructed. RFK Stadium previously served as the home of DC's former MLB team, the Washington Senators, from 1962 to 1971. Nats Park broke ground on May 4, 2006 and cost $693 million to construct. Located in the Navy Yard neighborhood of D.C., the ballpark featured views of the National Monument and the Capitol Building before develop around the stadium began. The field still features cherry blossoms outside of the ballpark to this day. The park features four levels of seating, with the upper level being split as a nod to Griffith Stadium. In addition to hosting the Nationals, the stadium has held the 2018 All-Star Game as well as the 2015 NHL Winter Classic and several concerts. The ballpark also hosted the 2019 World Series that the Nationals would go on to win. The Nats lease of the venue lasts until at least 2038. And let's go ahead and see what this ballpark has in store. If you're headed towards Nats Park from the Metro, you'll walk a short distance through the Navy Yard and end up at the center field gate. Directly to the left, you'll find the Nationals team store offering a wide selection of merchandise. You will also find the starting lineup for the day with pictures of the players. The Budweiser Brew House is the outfield restaurant, serving up a full menu of food and drinks, offering seating both inside and out on the back porch, with tables offering great views of the game. Further down the concourse is the Kids Fun Zone Playground. Before heading up to the Budweiser Terrace is a cool mural. On the second level is a bar located under the video board, lounge seating, and the Swing Big Beer Pen, which is open to the public when it is not rented out to groups. One cool thing about this level is that there's a small video board on the back of the main scoreboard so fans can see what's happening. On top of the Budweiser brew house is the Ultra Loft featuring yet another bar. In the upper deck, fans can find picnic seating as well as a nice shout out to the Nats farm teams. On the third base side of the second level, fans can find the conference center with several meeting rooms. Back on the main concourse, there are several displays honoring baseball in the nation's capital. On the rooftops, there appears to be an edible garden, which I assume is used in some of the concessions. If you enjoy exploring stadiums in depth like this one, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. All right, we are here with the crab cake sandwich from the Chesapeake Bay Crab Cake Company. And look at that right there, that thing is massive. We'll get back to the crab cake in just a second, but first let's see what else is cooking here at Nats Park. Taste of the Majors offers a new hot dog inspired by the cuisine of the visiting team each series. You never know what might pop up. Steak of the Union has the chimichurri tri-tip sandwich, served with a horseradish sauce, arugula, and charred red peppers for $19.99. CU Tater serves backyard barbecue tots with pulled chicken, mac and cheese, crispy onions, and barbecue sauce for $14.99. Local favorites are prevalent throughout the ballpark, Ben's Chili Bowl serves a half-smoke all the way, a beef and sausage half-smoke with brown chili, mustard, and onions. Capital City Mambo Sauce has chicken nachos and pulled pork sandwiches with the iconic sauce. And finally, the Chesapeake Bay Crab Cake Company serves up Krabby Dogs, a hot dog topped with homemade crab dip for $14.99, as well as what we are trying, the Jumbo Lump Crab Cake Sandwich on a buttered brioche bun with lettuce, Ramelade and garnish with the lemon wedge for $24.99. Just gotta give it a taste. That has got some spice to it. Whatever the sauce is, it's really, really spicy. The crab cake has a lot of crab meat to it. So for the over $20 price tag, this is a good value. Very good. I would definitely recommend this here if you're coming to National Park here in the DMV. You gotta have some crab, you gotta have some Old Bay. And this is really just so fresh and so flavorful. 
And like I said, good portion, good meaning. So if we are looking on our popcorn scale, this is gonna get five out of six popcorns. All right, we got the popcorn. We had to scour from top to bottom to find this Nationals Racing President's popcorn bucket. They have a new one on Screech, but I mean, you gotta get a Racing President popcorn bucket. So this bucket straight out of the warmer, nice and warm. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh yeah, this popcorn is where it at. It might also be number two on our top of the pop points ranking. Nice and warm, salty, not burnt at all, not chewy, light and airy. Exactly what you want in some popcorn. And for $11.99, not the worst value in this popcorn bucket. I definitely would recommend getting this popcorn. One of the better popcorn we got here at Nationals Park. And we are here with the Pratt Standard Cherry Blossom Cocktail available at several borrowers throughout here at National Park. It's got cherry blossom liquor, which is a specialty here at uh, Washington, D.C., local business. And this drink here tastes exactly like a Starbucks refresher. So if you enjoy a strawberry acai refresher, you will definitely love this drink. So on the pop point scale, you guys, it's kind of new for cocktails. This is going to get six out of six pop points. Overall at Nationals Park, the food quality was amazing. The popcorn was warm and freshly popped at almost all locations. The crab cake sandwich was also great. The only downside was that the selection of unique food was pretty limited. All that in mind, four pop points for food. The Nats offer several promotions to try and entice people to come out to the ballpark. From pregame happy hours with discounted drinks, discounted tickets and parking on Tuesday nights, and kids eating free, there are several ways to stick to your budget. So for value, Nats Park earns four pop points. For fun, the game presentation secures a big dub. Every half inning, there is some sort of promotion to keep fans engaged. Of course, the Geico President's Race is a great addition. I'm glad they have returned to form with the Mount Rushmore Core 4 of George, Tom, Abe, and Teddy competing every Nats home game. You can meet the President's pregame in the center field plaza, which is a nice touch. So for fun, the stadium earns five pop points. The main concourse level could use a more exciting addition to really enhance the experience. It feels pretty much unchanged since it opened in 2008. The second level offers numerous cool areas to stand and watch the game. The staff was very friendly throughout the whole night, so for fan experience, Nats Park gets four pop points. Add it all up and Nationals Park earns an overall stadium score of 8.5 out of 10, or bathed in butter. Well, you have the score, and that's the show. Thank you for joining me here at Nationals Park. Let me know what you think of the ballpark down below in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for even more concession critics.